What's up guys, welcome back to HMHT. So today Apple released another update and it's a watchOS update that we're talking about today. And the version that we have here is watchOS 7.3 beta 1. At the time I'm recording this video, this update is only available to developer beta testers. So if you are a public beta tester, this is something that's still upcoming. And by the time you watch this video, it could probably be out for public beta testers. But this is not all that Apple released today. It's been a busy day for Apple. This is the Apple developer beta website. And these are some of the updates that came out today. You can see that we have macOS Pixel 11.1 beta 2. It came out today. We have iOS 14.4 beta 1. And also we have iPadOS 14.4 beta 1. And we have tvOS 14.4 beta 1 which came out today we are going to be talking about watchOS 7.3 beta 1 this is our update for today and for me on my Apple watch series 6 it actually came in at around 138 megabytes quite a normal update size and I'm actually updating from watchOS 7.2 the official version so if you have the same series this is the average update size that you can expect and then if we go into the settings of our watch so if we go into settings and then go to general and then go to the about this watch section you can see the new build number or the software version that we have and it's 18s 5780d so this version has a d at the end and then if we go back just to see how much storage this update is taking so if we go the way it says usage and click there it just takes a moment to load and as you can see the used space is 2.8 gig before updating it was exactly the same so nothing changed when it comes to the storage here and now when it comes to the new features and changes that came with this update there isn't a lot that apple mentions actually so if we go to the apple developer website and we try to read the release notes so these are what the notes that apple provided you can see that it says there are no new release notes for this software update so it's kind of strange to release an update without anything to change but however i did some research and i figured out that there are some issues that some users were experiencing on the previous version and perhaps that's the aim of this update to try and resolve those issues and the first one has to do with automatic workout detection so with this update if you actually are doing a workout so you whether you are using this workout app or some other application before there were issues and some users are actually experiencing issues whereby the workout app won't detect that the user is initiating a workout or is doing a physical workout so some users we're experiencing that on watchOS 7.2 and it was kind of reported by a number of people so it could be trying to fix this and also on the Apple Watch Series 3 there were issues with that when it comes to overall device performance when it comes to the Series 3 and also the battery performance of the Apple Watch Series 3 hasn't been consistent with the previous patient so it could be trying to fix those issues but as you can see there isn't much that Apple mentioned now when it comes to how it's performing let's look for pong and then we'll open pong and see if it's dragging or losing frames and as you can see it's sort of working normal uh, as expected and i sort of like the way my applications are opening so let's uh, let's test the calculator you can see that it's working and then i also tested some of these other applications and they are working as they're supposed to if we try to control our camera you can see there that it's working and then let's try to switch to the front and see if it's working and then click done so yeah as you can see it's working and yeah this is my camera that you see here you can see that it's actually working fine and there's very little delay that's good and when it comes to battery performance let's go into the settings of this watch and then let's go out of uh, usage and then we want to go down to the battery section which is right here so you can see that from the time i updated my watch is now on 95 percent so when i woke up in the morning i actually updated when this watch was around i think 95 percent so 
because this update came quite early you can see that at around this time which was around 12 noon i had to connect my watch to the charger in order to update and right now the time is actually 546 so it's been some time and as you can see it's on 95 percent and so far if i had to guess just from the battery experience that i'm experiencing right here from the few hours that i've been using this update battery performance is okay watch performance is okay however the build number that came with this update is not okay and that's why i wouldn't really encourage you to update to this uh watch away 7.3 3 beta as you can see this is the build number watch os version 7.3 and the build number has a d at the end and d is not the best when it comes to stability so i wouldn't really encourage you to update to this version right now and the reason why also i sort of discourage that is because well let me just reduce the brightness so that i show you the calendar here on my iphone as you can see today is actually the 16th of december and the next two weeks will be the last two weeks of december and we know that according to what apple has done in the past they usually take the week of christmas off and then also the next following week they also usually take it off so if you update to this version and you have quite a number of issues with your apple watch they might not be resolved until perhaps mid january next year that's when I actually expect this update to come up. somewhere between the week of the 4th of January 21 to mid January 2021. So you might be stuck on a beta that has issues if you update from the get go and it's your main watch and something that you, you rely on heavily. So that's how it came in for me. If you like this video, leave a like and if you haven't subscribed, a sub will be great. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video very soon. Peace.